In this tutorial we are going to see how to create a context menu functionality in Windows Forms using context menu strip control. So let's start creating by a Windows Forms application in Visual Studio 2010. From file select new project and Visual C Sharp Windows Forms application and I give it a context menu sample select OK this will create a Windows Forms application now now first thing you're going to do is drag and drop a context menu strip control from your toolbox to onto the form so you can see context menu strip one is added to the form now next thing you are going to do is uh, add menu by default let's go back by default context menu strip does not have any pop-up menu items without menu items there is no menu so what I'm going to do is create some menu item first so let's create one menu item called close uh, there's two ways to create menu items you can just start editing and typing here and that's simple as that now you need to understand that there is a main control is called context menu strip but then it has item and these items are contact context menu strip items so if you right click and say properties what you will see is here it's a con tool strip menu item in tool strip menu item it has its own property so you can set its own property you can set background color you can set foreground color you can do whatever you know it's like its own control uh, for color I'm going to change to say blue I can have its different font uh, I'm like uh, say this 10 uh, okay so boom there is my close and then if you want to set any properties of context menu main control you just select this and go to properties and font let's say I like bold and I like uh, this guy 12 okay um, it's not really going to show you anything but by default any properties applied to main context menu strip will be applied to its other menu item so as you can see as soon as I, I type next menu item it takes properties are inherited from the main context menu strip control so now after setting all these properties you can give the look you want your menu items your main menu control next um, thing we are going to do is add an event handler so when I click I close click this close menu item I need to execute some code so simplest way to add a menu at item event handler is just double click on that as soon as you double click you will see in Visual Studio there's event handler added to the code code behind so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this dot close what this code will do this will actually close the form now there's one more thing left to do before we run the sample we need to attach this context menu strip control to a Windows form control or we can also attach to the Windows form itself so to attach to the Windows form say right click on the form go to properties in properties you'll see there's a property called context menu strip each control in Windows forms has this property so that said each control in Windows forms can have its own uh, pop-up menu or context menu so here what I'm going to do is select context menu strip 1 that's it we all set now F5 will uh, build and run this sample as soon as you run the sample and you right click you will see the context menu comes uh, opens up and you clo click on select close what close does is actually calls the event handler executes the code and closes the form so that's the simplest way to create a context menu now uh, I hope you you still following me now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little more complex sample of context menu so let's do this we are going to create a button control as I said before every control in 
Windows Forms has a context menu strip property that attaches a context menu to that, that control. So let's create one more context menu strip control by dragging and dropping onto the form. So this one I'm going to call, I'm going to set properties and I'm going to call this button menu, button pop up menu. Okay, you can set any properties you want, you know, you can make it whatever look you want. What I'm going to do, I'm more interested in color. I add menu item color. Here's another thing, good thing. You can also add any, Not you can not only add items to the context menu, you can also add sub items here. So to color, what I'm going to do is create, add background and foreground menu items so when I click on color you will see background foreground um, menu items will pop up now I double click on these to write event handlers for these items as you can see background tool strip menu item and its foreground here what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a um, color dialog so when I ca call color dialog I'm going to select a color and then I'm going to set background and foreground colors of the button control so let's do is create a color dialog which I can do using If selected color is OK, what I'm going to do is button one dot background back color equal to so what simply I'm doing is I'm calling color dialog, color dialog pops up, I select a color and whatever color is selected I set background color of the button. Same thing I'm going to copy this code to foreground color and I'm going to change just color simple now there's only one thing left what I'm going to do is I need to attach this new uh, button pop-up menu to the button control so I right click on the button control select properties go to again context menu strip and select my context menu button pop-up menu here boom right I'm done F5 you hit F5 and run boom right click on the button you select select color you see background foreground select one background you'll see color dialog pops up say background green say okay as you can see background color of the button is changed to green now I right click on the foreground and I change to orange boom button foreground change to orange so using the same approach you can apply context menu or pop-up menu menus to any Windows Forms control in your Windows Forms applications I hope you like this uh, tutorial uh, Till next tutorial, see ya.